It's too short. What's too short? My hair! I think I'll grow it out. Loving the jawline. Still deciding about the nose. Another set of brown eyes. Oh, I could look like anyone and anything and I still end up with repeats. Okay. You still haven't explained yourself completely. No, I haven't. You're the same man that just died outside my apartment. The very same. Give or take a few physical features. You can cheat death like that. Don't worry, Eliza. Death and I are still on good terms. This is a natural process for me. I'm perfectly fine. No, I, I can't accept this. People don't do this. I'm not people. So, ancient Greece, revolutionary America, Victorian Nottingham, oh, Victorian Toronto. Oh, it's been a great while since I've been to good old Toronto. Excuse me? All of time and space, where to? Your ship is a blue box, bigger inside than out. You just changed your face. One extreme at a time, please. It's a little difficult to keep up. The future, then. Off planet somewhere. Millions of light years from Earth. I'll decide on the way. You coming, then? Ugh. Oh. My word, this is ginormous. It's also warm. Are you sure you're all right? As I told you in the TARDIS, regeneration is completely natural. Happens all the time. You also said we were lost. Did I? Yes, you did, in the control room. Do you know where we are then? Absolutely. Really? No. What was that? New body, not death. I thought for sure that it came from over here. Whoever they were, they couldn't have gotten far. Ah! Hello? Hello? Be wrong.
Are you... are you real? Well, I'd like to think so. Human? Yes. No, but I could lie to make you feel better. Are you here to rescue me? Rescue you from what? You don't know? Interesting. What was that? You seriously don't know? No, we seriously don't know. I'll show you. Pilot and I crash landed in this wood three days ago. Andrew is dead. And the trees are trying to kill us. It must have been terrible. Did you did you see it happen? Yes. Anything I should know about? You look thoughtful. I assume it's because you have thoughts going on. <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken. Flat tree will get you nowhere. Well, excuse me if I'm a little bit upset about being dropped in a homicidal forest. Well, if you were curious, Eliza Douglas, the trees don't appear to be doing anything, so walking back to the TARDIS should be fairly easy. They're baiting you. As long as we don't touch them, we should be safe, right? Except we won't be. Will we, Ciara? The wood wants to hunt you, wants to consume you, wants to kill. Every tree, the whole forest, we're not even safe here. They've had a taste of what they like and they'll be back for more. You couldn't have dropped us off at a tropical island. If we don't take our chances now, we might not make it back to the TARDIS. Yeah, the trees might get us first. No, I'll forget where I parked it. You're being incredibly calm about this. I am not being calm, I'm being cautious. Do you want me to panic? I prefer if you're a little more unsure about all this. But you're not my rock, you know. I am made of flesh and bone just like you. I just don't see the point in panicking. It distracts the mind. And in a place like this, it's not too terribly good to be distracted. They sound angry. How did they sound when Andrew died? Angry. The ship shouldn't be too far from here. If they're attracted to fear, then just ignore them. Think about anything else. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts? Like kittens and rainbows and unicorns, hmm? If you like. So, Ciara, what brings a space fleet pilot way out here? The Ashton Corporation hired us out for space exploration. We were part of a larger formation before a meteor shower hit and separated us from the group. You're lucky. I, I, I'm fine. I, I'm fine. Are you all right? I will be. When we're safe in the TARDIS, I, I will be. They've made a stray from our path. The Force is trying to get us lost. We just have to get to the TARDIS. A and then what? And then we leave. What about the forest? What if people get lost here? Or someone crashes? What if there are more Andrews? Aren't you the bloke who goes around saving people from things like this? You know, I think the TARDIS is over this way. 
Hello? Are you even listening to me? Do you want the long or the short answer? Excuse me? You know, it's just up here. It's scorching colder. Wait, where's Yara? Doctor! It's got her, Doctor! It's got her! Yes, Eliza, I can see that. Well, help her! I am! How did you get out? I pulled and it let me go. I tried that! Were you panicking? What kind of a question is that? One that you need to answer! I took a breath and concentrated on pulling and it let me go. So you weren't panicking? No! Yara, you have to calm yourself. Just, just fall away from the tree. If you don't panic, it can't hurt you. But, Andrew, you don't have to be another Andrew. It's not working. It's not working. If she could just calm down. Can't you just save her like you do everyone else? It's not that simple. You stop the entirety of the world from slipping into the void. Because that's what you do. You save people, so just do it! For someone so smart, you wouldn't be so stupid! I am not stupid! Welcome back to the real world. We made it? Yes, we did. Carried you in a final trip back to the ship. Sleep well? I hadn't slept in ages. It's, it was great. Where am I? Military hospital. Civilian wing. 25th century if you have to set your watch. You have a time ship? Incredible. When you fully recovered, I've got some friends here on base that can jump you back to your proper time. But let me tell you, this place has excellent health care. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you both. That's our cue. Goodbye. in the car park, right? Eliza, about the fall. Don't say it, Doctor. If you'll agree that we both were might unprofessional, then it doesn't matter. It's just forgive and forget, right? I'm sorry. I told you not to say it. I wasn't fair to you. Uh... Doctor, if I let every little thing get to me, then I would have pulled my hair out before finishing primary school. <laughs> Fine. You're forgiven. Happy. My favourite words. You know, that was terribly clever what you did back there, distracting Ciara from her fears with my sonic screwdriver. Well, that toy of yours had to be useful for something. <laughs> now, car park? Follow me. <laughs> Tell me, Eliza, have you ever seen Saturn's rings from orbit? <laughs> no, I missed that school trip. <laughs>
Emma! Emma, wait up. Listen to me. Listen, Danny, I just need to go for a drive, okay? I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. Emma, please! I'd say good evening, but I'm sensing that all's not well. Yeah, I've just opened my big mouth and stuck my foot in it. Again. I'll tell her I'm sorry when she gets back. Does this kind of thing happen a lot? Why? You moving in? I was thinking about it. House round the corner. It's a great neighborhood. Yeah, it is. We don't always argue. But sometimes she works nights. So as long as you don't mind headlights going by at five after midnight. Oh, I'm not really into sleeping. A night owl, eh? Name's Danny. Danny Douglas. Dr. Smith. I was just taking a walk. I find it's usually quieter after dark. And the stars are out. In my philosophy, everyone needs a trip out into the night. For clarity. She'll come back. And I'll fix everything like I usually do. Except for the night she doesn't. I'm sorry? Friends, family, children. Gifts that were given in life. We need to cherish them while still around. Trust me. I know. Blasted faulty wiring. Daddy? Go. Be with your daughter. She's the one that needs you the most. Daddy? Eliza, I'm coming, sweetheart. 